Thomas, Billy, and the Important Chickens One night, Thomas the Tank Engine was staying at a shed with some newer engines to the island of Sodor. Hello, everybody. Have you all had a good day? Yes, I have, said Madison. As have I, said Sasha. Me too, Thomas, puffed Stepney. Well, we're having a little trouble getting to sleep, said Dominic. Would you like to tell us a story, said Ciara. You've been on the island quite long. You should know a lot. I do, smiled Thomas. I'll tell you one about Billy's first day. Do tell us about it, said Sasha. I'd like to hear it, smiled Stepney. All right, said Thomas. So he started to tell the story. This is how it went. One day, Thomas began, the fat controller had sent for me to go to Brendam Docks. He said that he had a very important special for me. When I arrived, there was a brand new engine there. The new engine was shiny, orange, and puffing with pride. I'm um, Billy, puffed the new engine. Let's go. I was surprised when I first met Billy. He was bigger than I was, I, so I thought. Come along now, Billy, said Salty. Billy has a very busy first day, said the dockyard manager. Billy, you were to go to Farmer McCulls and pick up some chickens and puff them back to Brandon Docks as fast as you can. And then you must take on coal and water. Then you must take a truck of fuel and diesel oil to Mavis and Diesel at the quarry. Yes, me hearty, said Salty. You must be on time and really resourceful. I will, said Billy. Don't tell me what to do. I can do things all by myself. Come on, Billy. Let's go take on coal and water first, puffed Thomas. Don't tell me what to do, Thomas, puffed Billy. I can do things just by myself, he said. But it's important that you take on coal and water before starting out on a busy day. Maybe for you, but I have a big water tanker and a big coal bunker. So... I don't need to take on enough coal and water. I already have enough. Just take on some coal. But Billy was puffing away. Bother, puffed Thomas. Thomas puffered and chuffed after Billy. He really had to catch up to him. Billy didn't know the line. Billy arrived to Farmer McCall's field. Hello, Billy, said Farmer McCall. I'm right on time, said Billy, and really useful. Then Thomas arrived. Hello, Billy. I'm glad I caught up to you. You can't run away like that if you're a new engine. You don't know the Sodor Railway like I do. Never mind you, Thomas. Don't tell me what to do. I shall do as I can. And Billy puffed away before the chicken doors had been closed. Come back here, silly Billy, cried Farmer McCall. Thomas was cross. He chased after Billy again. Thomas was getting more and more tired by the instant second he puffed along. Billy was puffing up Gordon's hill. Then Billy stopped. He wasn't sure if he should puff down the other side. When Thomas came along, Billy, 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 he called sheepishly. His voice was faint. Billy was cross. Oh, what now? Billy, you mustn't puff away like that. Especially if you don't know the Sodor Railway like that. Then there was trouble. Ryan came around the bend. Oh, no, cried Ryan. Ryan stopped just a few inches from Billy's buffers. What a close call, said Thomas. You see what I mean? You're even on the wrong track. What are you doing here, silly Billy? Said Ryan. Billy was upset. I have to deliver these important chickens. Goodbye. But you haven't collected your fuel, said Thomas. I'll have to go after him again. Billy was puffing along, away from Thomas. So Billy puffed one way down the right track and Thomas chuffed down the left. He had no idea where Billy had gone. Then there was trouble. Billy was at the junction when Thomas found him. Finally I've caught up to you once more Billy. You have to stop racing away. Forget what you say. I don't have to listen to you. You know what Billy? Do whatever you want. Well hey! said Billy. Billy puffed forward. Then Billy heard something snap. What's wrong, said Thomas. Billy had run out of coal, then something else happened. He heard something bounce and shake very hard. What was that, said Thomas. Billy, you're out of coal and water, cried his driver. 
A skater boy came along. Ha ha, Billy's out of coal and water, he sang. Thomas, will you help me, please? I want to please the fat controller, but I can't now that I'm broken down. Not to worry, Billy, puffed Thomas. I will help you. So Thomas went to go buff her up to the back of Billy's trucks. So Thomas and Billy went to Fuel Depot and collected lots of fuel for Mavis and Diesel. Thank you, Billy, said Mavis. You're a really useful engine, said Diesel, quietly. Thomas came and helped Billy away. Mavis and Diesel were surprised. Then, Thomas and Billy collected the chickens, closed the doors, and they puffed them back to Brendam Docks as quickly as they could. They had to be on time to make the fat controller happy. Thomas shunted Billy into the yards. Goodbye, Billy, said Thomas. The fat controller is pleased with you. He will be happy to know that you finished all your jobs on time. Thomas, wait, said Billy. As Thomas started puffing away, I'm sorry I was so rude. You are a really resourceful engine, and I definitely enjoyed working with you. Thomas felt exhausted, but Thomas was happy. Well done, Billy. Thank you, Billy. I hope I can work with you again and maybe give you a proper tour of the island of Sodor. I like that. So that is the whole story, said Thomas. Wow. That is a really fun story, but when Thomas looked to his right, he could see Sasha and Stepney were asleep, then he looked to his left, and he could see Madison, Ciara, and Dominic were all asleep. And with that, Thomas was shocked. So Thomas decided it was best he'd go to sleep too. Even though it's fun to tell stories all night, it is fun to have a good night's rest, thought Thomas, as he closed his eyes and happy to sleep.